Hello. I don't even know if anyone's watching this anymore. I don't even know if there's anybody left. It's been 35 days since they called for lockdown. And I'm going crazy. I've watched every show that I've been watching and to counteract the loneliness, I, I <laughs> create a companion. And I think he's watching me. What's up guys? This is uh this is my new adopted child. Um he doesn't actually have a name yet because bananas don't actually deserve names. Why have you betrayed me, Papa? <laughs> so the other day I was really really bored as I'm sure a lot of you are also feeling during this time of our lives. So I decided to get my Tom Hanks on and create myself my very own Wilson because man I'm going crazy and whilst doing that I kind of got the bug I wanted to be a bit more creative and I, I wanted to see if I could make any other crazy shit out of whatever I have in my house because there's a lot of shit and you know it's a tough time right now and we don't get to see our friends and our family and honestly the outside is pretty terrifying and i've managed to avoid going out too often i don't do it crazy i'm you know i'm practically just basically in the house all the time doing fucking nothing but i think it's fair to say that it's inevitable that eventually i'm gonna have to go out and brave the outside world and when i do that I'm gonna need some protection. I'm, uh, there's no way I am gonna raw dog Mother Earth right now. She's a dirty bitch. So I'm gonna need protection. And sadly, I don't have 300 pounds just lying around that I can splash on a hazmat suit. But what I do have is a metric shit ton of trash and recycling that hasn't been taken. So I reckon we can put our little brains together and I can come up with something out of nothing and uh, stay away from the icky sticky outdoors so what I'm gonna do is go and take a cheeky gander at what I've got downstairs and see what we can use so this is my bunch of shit that I found around my house. A little bit of, little bit of ASMR there. Uh, my cock. So I'm thinking like, you know, main, main, main costume. Helmet. Also helmet, maybe. Um, but you guys might not know this about me, but I am a graphic designer in real life. So I'm going to put a picture on the screen now of what I want this to look like. Yeah, real good, yeah, nice. And, uh, let's get to it. I actually think this looks pretty good. I think we've created a new form of fashion. Fashion. Like this this looks like it could be a jacket from the 60s. Like, hey Sandy! <laughs> you wanna go to prom with me? But all fun and games aside, when I first stepped outside, I was met with a world that I didn't recognize. There was nothing but emptiness and silence. Little did I know at this point that there was nobody left, just me. The 
world that I knew and had grown to love, the people that were in it were just gone. And as I searched over this empty wasteland, I began to feel emotions that I just couldn't explain. I searched and searched for days in disbelief, in the hope that I'd find somebody. But in the end, I found nobody. I realised that the virus had won. They had taken the world. As the birds flew overhead and the waves lapped upon the shore, I realised that it had gone to me too. Just a small tear in my suit caused my demise. But at least I got to tell my story. Just a YouTuber who started by just filming a video ended up being the last man alive. If I could go back, if I could say just one thing to the world, it would be just stay home. Stay home. Watch some YouTube. Enjoy your free time with your family and the ones that you love. Definitely subscribe to my channel and like all my videos. Um, honestly, I'm not sure what this video was about, but it was pretty fun. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it.